The SAMS listing project um, for ICAP will allow us to help people coping with overwhelm and stress and allow us to focus on the mental well-being of people that call. There's many, many boxers, coaches, officials, volunteers within London itself who may or may not have problems that they, they don't share. And the trouble is with boxing, we're all supposed to be that little bit macho. We, we struggle to, uh, to come out with our true feelings. If it, if it helps to save one person, by being able to talk to someone, then it's done what we've aimed it to do and hopefully it will help a lot more people than that and, and we're looking forward to working with all the different partners involved to make it something that will, will be very long lasting and help as many people as we can going forward. So this is Yep from Dean and Jean. We took Sam to Onga Boxing Club as a young lad. He spent his first time there in a sparring session and that was that, he was hooked. Sam was always a gentleman from a child to adulthood. Anyone who knows Sam will testify what a nice fella he was and how he would come to the aid of anyone and give others support. Sam had so much more to give and everything to live for. I'm certain that had Sam had the right people to talk to about his feelings, things could have turned out very different. That's why it's imperative that we encourage our young people to talk about how they are feeling. By the way, champion, thanks very much for coming this morning, Kevin. Really, really appreciate it. Throughout boxing, Sam, as we all know, gave his time um, to West Ham. And throughout that time, he became, you know, real inspirational friends and as a mentor to Sam Cox. We'd like you to say a few words, Sam, about your relationship with a wonderful, wonderful young man. Okay. Obviously, me and, me and Sam are very, very close, and um, I tell him everything. Um, clearly, there was stuff that he never spoke to me about, or that I don't know about, and I just think something like this line, like, some, like in boxing, you're supposed to be the man, and you, 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 you're having a fight with someone, so it's, it's, it's a big macho thing. Um, and I think a lot of the time you don't want to speak to, say, your coaches, people that, 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 that surround you, you look up to them as men. And, and I think around men, the stigma is not to, not to talk about the things that are, are sort of hard for you to talk about. Um, and I just hope that this line um, within Sam's name sort of, sort of helps more than one person. I, mm. I think we can, help, we can help a lot of people. And yeah. I, think, I think there's a lot of boxes out there that probably don't talk. Mm. Um, and there's a, probably a lot more more problems in boxing than you let than you'd ever think. So, for example, I, I was quite I, where I was so close to Sam. I, I would tell him all my problems, um, and I thought he'd be the same. But you, you never you never know, and you never truly know what 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 is going on in anybody's head. So, um, if 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 we can help a few young people along the way, I think that'd be great. And he helped so many people himself that I think even this now with his with his legacy that he left behind with his coaching. The amount of kids that he's brought through um, the amateur system here and through the nursery and all the way up that now are boxing in the gym, um, hopefully we can help some more people as well.